Well, happy Sunday, everyone. I'll tell you what, that sunshine came out today and those temperatures went from cold to pretty comfortable this afternoon. In fact, you probably heard a lot of that water coming down the side of your house. That was the sound of some melting snow, quickly melting snow out there across the area. Temperatures for highs today, lower 40s in the mountains, low to mid 50s this afternoon across parts of the upstate. Outside right now, we've got mostly clear skies. If you notice in some of the shadowy areas there, we still have a little patchy areas of some snow still left over there. And that's something to watch because we've had that melting going on throughout the day, but tonight when temperatures drop below freezing again, we could see a little bit of refreezing taking place. We're already down into the mid to upper 30s in the mountains, upper 40s to lower 50s across the upstate. By tomorrow morning, we'll all be below freezing across the area, mid 20s in the mountains, upper 20s to lower 30s across the upstate. So again, any moisture out there that's kind of melted throughout the afternoon will likely refreeze overnight. So watch out for a little patchy black ice tomorrow morning as you start your day, especially on the sidewalks and the steps and things like that. But as we go throughout the day, it will warm up and that will melt away as well. It's going to be an unsettled weather week ahead, though. We're going to start off, though, as we go into uh, tonight with clear skies. Your sun, or Monday will be mainly clear with mostly sunny skies. Could see a few clouds building in late, but we're going to be watching this front and this front is going to slowly ooze our way. But starting Tuesday and going each day after that, Tuesday, Wednesday, and the Thursday, we're going to have increasing chances of scattered showers moving in. Starting off fairly low on your uh, Tuesday, but by the time we get towards Thursday, I think that will be the best day where we could see more widespread coverage of showers moving through the area. So keep that in mind. And then as we get into Friday, finally, hopefully we'll see this front kind of push to our south. Now, what's very interesting about this pattern, we're going to be basically in the battle zone between the mild air hanging on and some much colder air trying to build in. So you'll see that cold air just kind of hanging off to our north throughout the week. And by the time we get towards this upcoming weekend, the jet stream in the battle zone of basically separating that mild and frigid air will be right on top of us. So if this jet stream is just a little farther south, we're going to be in that frigid air. If this jet stream is a little farther north, we may try to hang on to the mild weather. And right along that boundary, that's where we're going to have these little ripples or energy moving through, and that's what's going to give us that chance of rain. So mostly clear, below freezing with some patchy fog, maybe even a little patchy black ice tomorrow morning, upper 20s to lower 30s. And then for your Monday, lots of sunshine, upper 40s to lower 50s with that black ice in the morning, but sunny and very comfortable in the afternoon. Here's your four-day plus. Again, we're in the mid to upper 50s for most of the week with those chances of off on scattered showers. Best rain day looks to be Thursday, and then we start to cool it down just in time for Valentine's Day weekend and especially for Valentine's Day next Sunday.